Okay, we're going to keep going on intercompany. Uh, in the beginning, we kind of set up the intercompany partners and configured things. We didn't do any transactions, you know, and I even got a comment. Thanks for that. Hey, how about doing some transactions first? That is, of course, the way to go. So, got to keep that in mind going forward. But let's dive into the transactions. Let's take a look at a diagram. <clears throat> so, with intercompany, uh, we well, the way we set it up is when you have a company A, you create a card inside company A for an IC partner, intercompany partner. And that intercompany partner connects to company B. So it's inside company A, but it's referencing company B. Similarly, in company B, you create an intercompany partner for company A. So in our example, we have USA over here, which has an intercompany partner card for EU and EO being here, which has an intercompany card for USA. Um, similarly, if you have company C that's interacting with both company A and company B, company C then would have two intercompany partners defined for each one of the A and B. All right, let's do some intercompany transactions. I'm currently logged into Cronus EU and I want to do a sales order. So I go into sales, sales orders, and this is going to be a sales order to my intercompany partner, Cronus USA. Now I've already created the sales order right here called Cronus USA. Just go into that one and take a look at how that's configured. It's for the customer Cronus USA, which we have already configured as an intercompany partner. And it has the item an Ecta coffee mug, which also exists in Kronos USA. So there is no mapping that needs to happen between the item numbers. Um, now, in order to send this over, I will actually have to go into actions, functions, send IC sales order. Now, if I would have posted this order and it would, be, would have become an invoice, the system automatically sends the order. However, if I just created the order um, and released it, it doesn't send it automatically. You have to actually go into functions, send sales order. So I'm going to do that. And now it's been sent. Uh, where do I see it? If I go here into intercompany and show all, I have here inbox, outbox transactions. And then I have handled inbox outbox let's take a look at the intercompany outbox i have nothing here okay so it's it's been processed through there let's go ahead and take a look at the handled ones so intercompany again uh, handled outbox transactions and there it is so we have a sales order that has been sent to the ic partner now we had checked off in our setup to automatically uh, handle the transactions that come into the outbox. So that's why it's uh, it's flying out the door basically into the other company. All right, so since it's been sent in the outbox, we would imagine it's sitting in our inbox on the other side. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other company. Oops, my settings, I log into my Chromis USA, hit OK, and OK again. And now I am logged in any minute. And I want to go ahead and take a look at the intercompany again in this company. Show all. And I go into inbox transactions. And there it is. It's coming from the EU company. So I could go ahead here and say I want to accept this uh, transaction. And then just hit functions complete line actions, which means I do everything that I have said to be done here. Um, I can also just hit accept that accepts just this particular line or cancel it, etc. I'm just going to go ahead and complete that. Now it's done. And so if everything goes well, it should have created a purchase order. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And here it is, a purchase order from EU. Click on that. 
it's coming with the Anecta coffee mug. And the reason why I figured out that this was the item is because the item exists in both places with the same number. Um, there are ways to actually cross-reference things together and have common item numbers, which we might cover in a different video. But this is, this is the essence of how Intercompany works. It works through these inbox, outbox um, transactions. So, so in essence, if you create a sales order to an Intercompany, you should not have to type in a purchase order on the other side. Uh, the system should just figure that out. And that's what it does. But it gives you inbox, outbox to kind of make sure that things are looking okay. Uh, let's say, for example, you made a mistake and you don't want it automatically to happen on the other side. So that's how it works.